Hey everybody, I'm the Otaku Artist, and Happy October! Since it's the spooky month, I decided to make a Halloween banner for my channel just like last year. And if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's in the eye icon in the top right corner, and it's also going to be in the um, end screen. So check it out after this. Pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> instead of just making a general Halloween banner this year, I went for the theme of Harry Potter. The reason being is because I'm actually going to be making some Harry Potter videos, especially this month in particular, since it's about witches and magic and stuff, and it fits in the Halloween theme. My channel is multi-fandom, so I wanted to add Harry Potter to the mix, so expect some Harry Potter videos from time to time. Honestly, I love Harry Potter, and it's a shame I don't talk about it too much. Really, it's because I don't really participate in the fandom, despite being there since the literal beginning of the series. So, I've been trying to get more into the fandom, so I've been starting to watch some Harry Potter YouTubers, and I even joined this huge Harry Potter Discord server. And, funnily enough, I joined to participate with other fans, but I've been too shy to communicate with any of one in that server since it's pretty huge. <laughs> Oops. I've watched all the movies several times, but I've seen the first three the most since they're my favorites. The third movie, Prisoner of Azkaban, is my all-time favorite. Also, can I just say that the soundtrack of this series is amazing? Like, especially the music in the first movie is just... Mm, I could listen to it all day. <laughs> As someone who listens to music pretty much 24-7 and never removes their headphones, and gone through way too many headphones in my entire life, <laughs> um, Harry Potter is one of my favorite soundtracks to listen to. And surprisingly though, despite loving the movies and the music with all my heart, I haven't read all of the books. <laughs> I Okay, so hear me out before I get someone being like, what? How could you not? Um, so I bought all of the books when they came out, as they came out, um, but I've only read the first and the second book. I remember the first book quite a bit, um, especially the differences between the first book and the movie, like um, the beginning, like the first chapter in particular, um, also in the last part of the book there's a challenge they have to go through that involves potions that isn't in the movie, as well as this ghost. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the ghost, there's this ghost that, like, is mischievous, and it's in the games itself, because I have all the Harry Potter games as well. I really love them, even though I don't think I actually ever beat any of them. I play a lot of them. And anyway, fun fact, they filmed all of the scenes involving this mischievous ghost for the first movie, but because, like, the kids couldn't stop laughing and stuff, they had to take so many takes. And then, after all of the takes were done and being edited, they were cut. And it makes me sad because this poor actor, um, like, played this ghost character and then completely cut from the movie. So I hope those scenes will be released someday on YouTube. Like, leaked. Also, <laughs> I went really off-tangent there, but... Going back to what I was saying about the books, I also read the second book, Chamber of Secrets, but I don't remember the second book at all. I know I read it, but I just don't remember, like, what was the second book. Like, I know what it's about because I've seen the movie, but I just can't really remember that book. So, I really want to read the books from start to finish, and I started to, but then I found out about these illustrated versions of the books. And since I'm an artist, duh, and I love comics and stuff, it's not a comic, but it's basically the entire Harry Potter books being, like, illustrated, so there's illustrations on the pages and stuff. I really want to get those illustrated versions of the books and then read the series from start to finish. Um, so hopefully I can do that because I do want to read the books and mm, those illustrations look pretty nice. Oh, and before I start talking about the speed paint itself, um, I want to talk a little bit more about Harry Potter in general. So, I know someone is going to say it in the comments, that because I'm not addressing it, but about the Fantastic Beasts series. <sighs> I'm going to get someone who's going to hate me for this, but I hate the movies. I absolutely hate the movies. 
it has bad CGI. The plot is non-existent and hard to follow. Like, I, I can't- I'm like, wait, what's going on? Why are they here? And I could care less about any of the characters. I, I like the main character himself, but I think there needs to be more character development and his sidekick. Um, I like him pretty much the best, but still, like, they're not engaging enough. Pretty much my main qualm, though, is the soundtrack is not memorable, and also none. Uh, it's like, you won't really understand this if you haven't seen Harry Potter, but there's a certain magic and whimsicalness of Harry Potter. Like, it makes you happy when you hear the theme song when you watch it. It's like, oh my gosh. It's, it's a feeling that I can't really explain. And that feeling of happiness and magic, quote-unquote, about Harry Potter isn't in the Fantastic Beasts films. It just isn't there. All it is, it's action, action, action with a plot that's really hard to follow, characters that's hard to follow, and also the villain is not as good as Voldemort. But listen, so the thing is, I know I'm gonna get some hate about that, but listen, first of all, it's my opinion. <laughs> my opinion. But if you're gonna get- if you're getting triggered right now, don't worry, I'm not gonna go on and on about that in this video. I'm actually gonna save my thoughts on the series for another video, so don't worry, don't click off, don't leave. <laughs> anyway, now let's finally talk about the speed paint itself. Now, first of all, I did not expect this speed paint to take so long. I expected it to take about two hours at most, like my other banners took me. <laughs> but it, nope, it took over eight hours. Yeah, eight hours. I worked on it from start to finish for the entire day. <laughs> um, I did take like two 30 minute breaks in between to like um, watch a YouTube video and I also like ate dinner in that time. But pretty much I was just working straight on that drawing. And the reason why it took so long is because I really experimented with the drawing. So one of my greatest challenges in my art and as an artist is coloring because it all stemmed from when I was a kid I would never like I'm saying never color my drawings I didn't care about coloring books I didn't like any of that so I just didn't like coloring I didn't want to so unless it was a project that required coloring I would not color I just did not want to I cared about the drawing itself not about using colors and this carried on to Miiverse because of its black and white drawings and how you couldn't color in anything. And that's why I really liked it. So it really wasn't until Art Academy and some doodling on MS Paint with a mouse, I used to do that a lot, um, that I started coloring. So because of this, I always find my coloring lackluster. So like, you can't tell if I've shaded it or not unless you really look because the colors I feel like always get muddy together. Um, so, I've been trying my best and trying to get better at it, but I really just want to, I really want to maybe do a drawing where I honestly just, just experiment with coloring itself. Um, so in this though, I kind of tried a little bit of that. I didn't mean to do that at first, but when I went to the coloring it, yeah, I kind of just accidentally did it. So I tried my best on, the sh on making the shading vibrant, and you could tell it was shading, so it could stand out, and I think I kind of accomplished it. I mean, it's not as shaded as I would have liked, but I think it turned out better than just my regular coloring. So at some point, I also tried experimenting with the coloring my eyes, but whatever I did, nothing stood out. So I just went with my original way of coloring eyes, and that's also why this part is missing from the speed paint. Um, since I didn't record because I was experimenting and then I ended up just like doing what I normally do anyway and then I was like oh I gotta click on record <laughs> so sorry about that um, another reason why it took so long was because this was my first time using layers now if you're not a digital artist you have no clue what I'm talking about <laughs> but if you are a digital artist what I mean is normally I only use onion skin mode which means you can see the layer before and after the drawing in the list, and it normally is like a red or green color. 
This is used for animating, so like you can see your previous frame. And if you are really confused, if you watch my other speed paints, you can see what I mean. Um, especially in um, the Breath of the Wild Zelda one, you can see what I mean because I actually animate a little bit in that one. So anyway, this time I try about like about halfway through. Um, I tried to use layers, and it was pretty difficult. I mean, it did help my shading and coloring on the owl, but that's about it. <laughs> so honestly, I think I'm just going to stick to my method of just using onion skin mode and not using layers, because it's it was really confusing, because sometimes I would accidentally draw on color on the wrong layer, and then it's weird, sometimes it would lock me from editing that layer anymore, and I don't know why. But, eh, whatever. But anyway, speaking of the owl, I'm super, super happy with that. Um, I actually love drawing animals, but I never get an excuse to draw them. I used to sketch my dogs all the time in a sketchbook, ever since I was a kid. I would always just, oh, the dog's laying there, it's still, it's looks, looking cute, I'm gonna sketch it. And I did that all the time, and then when I got my two parakeets, I drew them like one or twice, um, just randomly, um, but I don't do that anymore, um, which is kind of a shame because I really enjoyed doing that. I'm really good at drawing Pokemon for the same reason, because they're animals, but I really never get an excuse to draw Pokemon too much easier. And the thing is, I kind of kick myself, um, this is a little bit to off topic, but since I mentioned Pokemon, I'll just say it. For Miku Monday, um, there was it was Miku Monday on Twitter. That's a hashtag on Twitter, and also it was Miku's birthday. And I drew Miku as a Pokemon trainer. I tried to replicate the Pokemon art style, and I drew her with six Pokemon that I thought would be in her team. That took like a week. Um, and the thing is, that is honestly my best drawing yet. And I drew the Pokemon so well in that, and I kick myself every time because I didn't like record that. I didn't make that a speed paint because that's before I before I um started doing speed paints again. And I just I'm just going to put it up here so you can see what I mean. <laughs> but the thing is, um I still kick myself for that. Anyway, back to what I'm actually supposed to be talking about in this video. Jeez, Kai, getting off tangent a lot. Um so now the owl isn't just any other owl that I drew. It's actually the owl I chose to have as my companion pet in Pottermore. It's actually my favorite type of owl, a barred owl. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> because just look at how cute these guys are in real life. Just, I, I want to kiss them. Just, can you see them? They're adorable. <laughs> anyway, speaking of Pottermore, my wand is also from the website too. And a picture of this is on screen too, so you can see what I'm talking about. Now then, let's talk about my house. So, I have a unique history with Pottermore sorting. I've done the quiz four times and have gotten every single house one time. Yeah. <laughs> the first time was when the website first released and I was actually one of the beta testers. So, I got to access the website early. So, before I did the quiz in this beta version, it explained to me what every house is like and its attributes. So, I really wanted Ravenclaw as it had a lot of the attributes that I'm proud of and love being. Such as being quirky, because normal's boring and I love being weird, <laughs> and... Uh, I guess, I don't know if you can really see it in my videos, but I... I'm quite weird. <laughs> um, this is a story for another time, maybe in a story time animation, but... I was always called weird in school, but not in a bad way, not like making fun of me, but just like in a good way. Um, anyway, I'll explain that more. <laughs> um, wisdom, I wouldn't really say I have, I wouldn't say that I'm like, I'm wise, but I do like learning, like especially about like English and stuff, um, but not like all things. Wit, I hope I'm quite charming, <laughs> and, and the number one thing that is like, yes, I'm a Ravenclaw because of this reason, is because, most importantly, uh, one of the attributes is being creative. And I pride myself in being as creative as possible, especially with my art, but also in other things such as singing and video making, etc. 
And also, blue is also my second favorite color, and I love birds. <laughs> They're one of my favorite animals. I have one parakeet right now. Um, my other parakeet sadly passed away a few months ago. Um, but I love birds. Um, especially ravens. Also, yes, I know the symbol is actually an eagle, but I don't believe that, even though it's canon, because it's called Ravenclaw, and the picture on every uniform is a raven. A raven! Not an eagle! But I digress. I took the beta quiz and I got Hufflepuff. This was something I didn't expect to get because in the movies, like, Hufflepuffs are hardly shown at all. Um, like, I think there's only one Hufflepuff that I can remember that's important in the movie. Um, but they are known for valuing hard work, dedication, patience, loyalty, and fair play. Now the thing is, I am every single one of those things. Um, I really work hard, so and that makes me um, over-exhaust myself a lot, and 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 make myself get into, um, <laughs> um, I wouldn't say art block, but I guess video block a lot. Um, but I am dedicated to doing that, and I'm probably the most patient person. Um, but yeah, so those are probably my strongest character traits. So, at first, I was really upset, and I always was like, man, I'm a Hufflepuff, I don't feel like I'm a Hufflepuff, I, I wanted to be a Ravenclaw. But now I understand that, yeah, I, I am those things. So, if, if it was the perfect world, and I wouldn't stress over this really stupid thing, I have to say, I've stressed over this a lot, which is really dumb when I have a lot more problems in my life than this tiny thing. Um, but seriously, if I could miss houses, I would be a Ravenpuff for sure. But I choose Ravenclaw over Hufflepuff since creativity is the thing I'm most proud of, even if I do have all the traits of a Hufflepuff. Shortly after taking the quiz the first time, I'm not sure if it was still in beta, it might have been right when the thing wasn't in beta, and then I took the official thing, I don't remember, I took it again. But the thing is, I made a bad mistake because that day I was in a very, very, very bad mood as I just had an argument with someone over something dumb. So dumb, in fact, that I can't recall what the argument was or who I had it with. Um, but anyways, because of that, I got Slytherin, which I am 100% not. So thanks for that bad mood. Thanks for lying. <laughs> now, those two times were years ago when Pottermore just started and was a much better website than it is now. Oh, I'm so upset they removed the good parts of Pottermore. Anyway, so about a year ago, I took the quiz again, and I got Gryffindor. I wasn't upset, but it just isn't me. Like, it's cool being the main house and all, since everyone wants to be a Gryffindor. It's where Hermione, Harry Potter, and Ron Weasley, and all the other main characters of the story are in. But the thing is, the attributes aren't really me. It's courage and being brave, being reckless, and that's... I wouldn't say that's me. I wouldn't say I don't have courage. Like, I, I like, if something was, was um, like, if I had to go into a dark cave to save someone, or, like, if I had to go there, like, I'd have the courage to do that. But it's not something I think of when I just think of me. And the thing is, I don't really count that, to be honest, because, like, I thought, well, I'm not- I would say I'm more of a Hufflepuff than a Gryffindor, of all things. But recently, like a few weeks ago, I recently took the newest version of the Sorting Hat quiz, and guess what, folks? I finally got the house I knew I was in all along. Ravenclaw. <laughs> finally! I told everyone. And no one believed me. <laughs> anyway, I hope that little rant wasn't too boring. Um, but I now you know what house I am and why. And I just kind of felt like ranting about that. Because I'm like that. <laughs> um, also, this video, uh, my commentary rather, went longer than I expected. So, um... I'm sorry for the last bit of the speed part being a little boring to watch because I was just like doing the line art for the shoes, walking, and also doing the lettering 
which might be a little boring to watch, but hopefully my conversation was interesting enough that you've stuck along to the end. <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise, I'm talking to no one. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. And here's the finished drawing! Okay, so I'm so proud of this, and I hope you like it. I'm honestly a little bit disappointed that this banner will only be up for October. But hey, I'm excited to make the next banner for Zelda Mom, because, um, you know, Zelda. <laughs> so, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss the Harry Potter and Halloween videos coming out this month, along with other speed paints. And if you like the new banner art, be sure to like this video so I know. So anyways, folks, I'm the Otaku Artist, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye!